What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sends. My name is Simon, Good Heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. Alright then, let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a smoke text effect in Canva. Smoke is a visible vapor with gases from a burning or smoldering substance. It is usually color gray. Smoke is sometimes color brown or blackish in appearance. It starts from the heat given to a material causing it to produce smoke floating across the air and disappears all of a sudden once it spreads out. Have you ever wondered what if we apply this effect in text? Is it possible? It surely is, with the use of the built-in text and image effects in the tool. How? Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to create a smoke text effect. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. To start, select the empty design page, go to the color tile above, and color the background black. After that, go to the text section here at the left side toolbar and insert add a heading. Now, Type in any word you'd like. As for this design, since it's called the smoke text effect, I will type in the word smoke. I will change the following settings of this text to I will change the font to champion gothic feather Change the font size to 290. I will change the font color by changing the hex code to hashtag ECEFF3. I will position it here at the middle center. Next, I will adjust the spacing. Letter spacing, I will change it to 0. Line spacing, I will change it to 1.05. Anchor text box in the middle. Please be noted that the font I used here is just an uploaded font. Anyway, to fully experience Canva's potential when it comes to designing, you need to try Canva Pro. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free and you can cancel it anytime, hassle-free. After applying those uh, changes in the text, we will now add some effects into it. So select the text again, go to the effects, and... Choose Neon, and I will change the intensity settings to 1. Now, let's download this first and re-upload it back to Canva.
while downloading, let us create a new page. Make sure that the background color is in color black, like this one. Now, once the image is uploaded, insert it in the design. Let's resize it a bit bigger. You can resize it at all sides by clicking the Alt key and dragging it from the corner. Now this is already good with me. We will now apply some image effects into it to make it more realistic like a smoke type of text. So using this image, go to edit image, scroll down, and find the liquify effect. This one. Let's just wait for the effects to load. Then let's click see all. You will see so many options to choose from. But we will choose this one, the last one, which is called the bubble. Click it once more to see the settings. Let's adjust the following settings to amount 0 0.02, the size 7, then click apply. Let's just wait for it to load. Once it's okay, click position, position it middle center. After that, lock it. Okay, we're almost there. The next step we're about to do is to add some elements that will complete the design trick. So let's go to elements. Type in the search bar the keyword. Half tone. Black. Gradient. Highlight, hit enter, and go to graphics. As you can see, you will see so many options here to choose from. I prefer to use the first one, which is half tone black gradient highlight. Finding keywords is hard and time consuming, and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known in deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day to day designs. Going back, I will click it and insert it in the design. Now, I'll just resize it based on my preference and place it on top of the text which is the smoke text to have an effect like it's slowly fading at the top part. Then lock it after. Okay, we're now on the exciting part of this design. We are going to add next some smoke elements to the text to make it more realistic. For the final touch, let's go again to elements and type in the search bar the keyword Smoke, hit enter, go to graphics, and you can see so many options here to choose from. I think I will use this one, the sixth one. However, I am curious if there are other elements here in Canva of the same kind. Therefore, I will click the three dots here. I will scroll down. Find the magnifying glass, which is see more like this. And voila! Many smoke overlays of the same kind to choose from appear. Now I'm ready to apply this beautiful smoke overlays to my design. I think I'm going to use the fourth one. I'll click it and use it in the design. I will just rotate it. And I'll just resize this. And position it here. Wait. Let me adjust it.
I think I'll need another one. This one. I will click it and use it in the design. I want to position it here at the bottom part below the smoke text. I will duplicate it and I will rotate it to 90 degrees and I'll resize it a bit smaller and position it here. Perfect. Let me just zoom it in for you to see it clearly. Done! This is now the final look of the design I created using the smoke text effect in Canva. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Goodheart VA, saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky God Sent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.